Fox Talks with the stars of your favorite shows. It's a very good question. It was the community's choice. I held a meeting with members of the public, okay. locals. And I asked them, what is, what is the one thing you want in this town right now? An American bistro, classic service, casual, family orientated, and we do not any longer want long-winded, old-fashioned, dated Italian food that sadly was being store-bought, defrosted in the microwave, and served with canned sauce. Um, customers know too much today, and let's not forget that they are king, and without them we're screwed. Well, the sad news is anyone can open a restaurant. If you have the money tomorrow, you could open one. Yeah. It's not like a dental practice or a doctor's GP. Um, anybody sure. can open a restaurant. So um, know your market, understand the community, and think local first. Too many illusions of grandeur when chefs open up and think, hey, we're going to go global, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. I think back to Pittsburgh and what that stands for. Mean potatoes I was at recently, and that was an extraordinary experience. You come out into the suburbs, into the county, and a town like this, close-knit. Yeah. And, and people talk fast, so your bread and butter are the locals. But it's got to stay within the vicinity of what it's pitching for, not shooting too high. Kitchen Nightmares is built up on a, an amazing team. We have a, a phenomenal art department, we have a phenomenal uh, kitchen department, uh, great producers, great directors. And so, you know, we take it very seriously. We do our research, uh, our market research, we find out what the rest hasn't got, what it hasn't done, what the locals are craving for, but more importantly, um, what's, what's happening now. That's the most important part. Yeah, that's true. What's happening now, and you know, restaurants... In what's big. Absolutely, what's avant-garde, what's of the moment. Uh, there's two ways in this business. You move with it, or it moves you. The old style Italian restaurant not only lost its way, but they were treading water for far too long, and not just disrespecting customers, but the owners had given up. You start sending those messages out, customers feel it instantly. You think of the climate, you think of the money and the disposable income that families haven't got today. Mm -hmm. Today's not about making big money in restaurants. Today's about navigating your way out of this recession and installing confidence back in the locals. I uh, found Pittsburgh to be incredibly warm. Uh, they've got tremendous history, not just from the Heinz Stadium to their football team, mm -hmm. their basketball team, and I, uh, the baseball team as well. Mm -hmm. I found uh, a sort of close-knit community. I mean, it's got a big name, but it's very small in terms of, you know, comparing to New York City, yeah. uh, Washington, Miami. But they stick together here. They do. They stick together they're and they're loyal. And when you've got a success on your hands, they're going to embrace you. So, yeah, I've, uh, I've done my research and customers in this vicinity know so much and they deserve better. So the shock, horror, when I first arrived here, you know, a, they forgot that the customers are the salt of the earth, but they're real people. I mean, as you saw in season uh, nine, we had uh, returning chefs, black jacket uh, award-winning chefs that came back to compete in amongst. Um, season 10 has just kicked off. Uh, we have an extraordinary uh, amount of talent, even though it may look a little bit difficult right now to weed through the crap yeah. uh, and get rid of the donkeys and focus on the talent. <laughs> there is talent there, let me tell you. And the stakes are at all time high because this year, as you know, we're looking for a, a, an amazing chef to yeah. have a Gordon Ramsay steak in, in Vegas. And there's no greater playing field anywhere in the world where every top chef in the country, globally, so is pitched up in Vegas. So, uh, yeah, season 10 is a big one for me.